Uh, I'm told Angad Tiwari is on the phone line from Shillong. He has a question for us. Angad, go ahead. What's your question? Uh, uh, at, at the outset, a very, very good evening to you and uh, my heartiest congratulations for an excellent property channel. Thank you so much, Agar. It, it means a great deal coming from you as a viewer. I'm so glad you're watching us in Shillong and you've gotten in touch. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks a lot. I just want to take the views of Amit mm. on properties at Lucknow. Okay. Basically on Amar Shaheed Path. Okay. In, in Gomti Nagar extension, mm. there is a project by name of M.I. Russell Court. Okay. Can we have your comments on that project? I mean, good location. Uh, project specifically, what are your comments? Would you recommend he goes ahead? So, yes, we're right, Faye. I think uh, there's nothing more prime than Gomti Nagar or yes. maybe Amar Shahid Path mm. when it comes to Lucknow. Clearly, it's a upmarket location, but the prices in this project tend to hover in the 4,000 mark per square foot, which means that the average ticket size roughly is about 60 lakhs in this project. They did open up uh, their sales. Uh, is it's that in back. your in your mind expensive for Lucknow? Or do you no, I don't fine? think so. I think the average okay. price in Lucknow. Uh, I mean, I've been involved in very very large townships, and there are townships by Ansal API, by Omax, and very uh, other large developers from sure. the north of very large uh, uh, townships in Lucknow within the Gomti Nagar uh, extension areas, mm. uh, which tend to hover closer to five thousand rupees a square foot. So I think a price of four thousand rupees, I think, is a very reasonable price for Lucknow. Uh, unfortunately for Lucknow, the problem has been its uh, inability to provide absorption. Uh, mm. UP in general obviously has suffered from an absorption problem. There were news By about... By absorption, you mean basically there are apartments being built and nobody's buying them. That is a problem. That is a problem because just too many townships got built in a very short period of time. Extraordinary amount of FSI and land bank got created. And, uh, you know, a lot of licenses were given out for creating hundreds and hundreds of acres of townships. And clearly, the demand has not been there. There was a hope of a new so, airport and an international that, airport that, that fundamentally up. means that if someone goes in right now, like Angad, who's on the phone line with us, goes in and buys something in Lucknow, given the kind of inventory there is in the market, basically it's supply versus demand. There's yes. more supply, not enough demand. The, I, the possibility of you actually seeing an uptick in your prices is going to be slim. And that's true across Lucknow, it, irrespective of location and uh, project, isn't it? Yes, I would tend to definitely agree. I think the only advantage right now for the MI project that it is uh, almost 10 to 15 percent below market median prices. So that clearly means that once the project is delivered, it will move up by another thousand to fifteen hundred rupees a square foot. Would he be better off if, since he's considering Lucknow, would he be better off putting that money closer, maybe Noida or, um, or Greater Noida? Same same ticket size, 60, 60 odd lakh rupees. So any market like Noida or Gurgaon, which have a natural uh, influx or a migratory population because of IT, ITS or manufacturing, sure. tend to clearly attract a larger amount of demand and a larger rentability as opposed to Lucknow, which doesn't have anything except for administrative services or being mm -hmm. basically the political capital of the uh, UP yes. state. So yes. I think that is basically the demand driver for Lucknow. There's no other industrial, IT, commercial there's drivers for Lucknow. So, right. so really, it's the retired uh, bureaucrats or the government population which tends to go into Lucknow and buy properties for the medium to long term. Right. So if, if you're looking to rent out, you're looking to sell, it's actually just a pure investment that you're unemotional about since you live in Shillong then you'd be better off looking at the NCR region or any other city where people move to work. Of Lucknow course, is the other thing is this is under development phase. I think, you know, the challenge yeah. of Lucknow is that it takes forever to right. deliver a project in that state. So right. I think that's the other risk you're running. Of course, the counter to that is that there would be an upside when it gets delivered. So. Marginal upside though. <laughs> you can watch live TV on our website, mbnow.in. Find us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash magic bricks now. And don't forget to click the like button. You can also follow us on Twitter at Magic Bricks Now. To stay updated with all our programming, hit the subscribe button on our YouTube channel by logging on to youtube.com forward slash Magic Bricks Now.